Hey guys, my name is Mandy and I want to show you how I'm going to be displaying my kids um, Home Depot apron and pins. So if you've ever been to Home Depot on the first Saturday of the month and done the kids craft, um, right now during COVID season, they're just um, handing you like a package of them and there will be like one of these little pins included that says what the craft was. And it's super cute because like shows a picture of the craft and you can remember kind of like what you did that day. So they give you an apron if it's your first time, an apron if it's your first time, and the kids can wear them and have like, you know, they have little pockets. It's just cute and it's fun. And we have a couple because I've forgotten them and the kids have, have gotten a second one. So with Marcus's, I wanted to put it on a board and I kind of cut it up, put it on the board and stuck the pins on just and use the backs like a regular apron. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I should share this with other people. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Uh, the canvas I got is a 14 by, or 11 by 14. So you just, I got it at I think Dollar General. Um, you can obviously go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. But um, the, the quality of the canvas is not important to me because it's what I'm displaying. So first you're gonna open that, then you're gonna take all the pens off if you've already pinned something to your kid's stuff. You're gonna take all these off. All right, the next thing I did was I kind of put it where I wanted to, where you could kind of see the Home Depot sign on the bottom and then the apron strings kind of wrapped around. So I centered it and then I hot glued before I cut. And I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I just tied it back here to kind of have it. Come on down, buddy, what do you need? Tied it pretty tight in the back. What's up? The iPad gone. Okay. It's that one battery left. Okay. Alright. So. Oh, please don't do that. Um, don't do that, Baba. Alright, because I'm gonna like glue it around the edges, I am just gonna leave a lot of extra space and just cut this on the back. There you go. So it's going to look like this. And what I did with the other one with Marcus's is I kind of tied them together so that you could just glue a tiny little bit on the top. So I'm going to put my glue on the top. All right, and it is done. Now all you have to do is take the little pins and stick them back in. You might wanna find the holes, I mean, if there's like a lot of holes on it. Now I could have used one of the other aprons. I know there's a cleaner one over there, but I kinda of like it that it has the paint on it. It shows that he wore it and he did stuff on it. So um, I am gonna glue down these little edges. both sides and then stick all these pins back in
All right, there's the front of it. Now I'm just going to put all the backs on so it doesn't fall off and I don't have to glue the pieces. Ta-da! So, um, if your kids do the Home Depot crafts, here's a great way to display these. I'm gonna stick them up on the wall down here in our school area because I think it's fun for the kids to see them and, you know, just kind of be proud of all the stuff that they've done. These, these have been really fun. Um, also, if you started your kid doing these when they were tiny like Abram, uh, you might want bigger a bigger canvas and then just to keep the whole apron together. Um, obviously that would work or just a cork board. You can, you can display it however, but I think it's really fun for these to be up on the wall with their name on it. Abram, Marcus, uh, I have one from a couple of years ago. Lucas, Luke, Lucas usually goes with us, but I have one for Lucas. He just doesn't have very many pins cause he, he's hit and miss with Boy Scouts. So, uh, hope you guys liked this and I would love to see how you display your kids aprons if they go to the Home Depot craft and um, just give me some more ideas. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.